own other words of Walter, he came out and said that DC is about to move forward with this new plan after in the start of 2022, where they plan to put out four theater release movies and two HBO Max special movies. Uh, this is for the DC brand itself, not Warner Media's movies. This is just DC itself. So they plan on putting four DC movies out on top of two more DC movies on the HBO Max streaming service. So six movies out a year. Um, they have the characters to do that. They have the universe to be able to do that. Should they do that is the bigger question. You guys haven't had a positive string of movies yet. Um, let's work on that first. Um, this is very ambitious. Uh, it's very... It feels like you're you're living in a bubble. And you're not paying attention to how the people that consume your content feel about your content you're just like well we're just gonna keep pumping out stuff you might need to pump your brakes and pay attention to what you're pumping out because you only can pump out garbage so long before people are like look i'm not gonna mess with you no more and after wonder woman 1984 that might also happen uh it's it's ah it's it's gonna be interesting if they can do that itself and make it successful, um, yeah, that's going to be a real quest. But then he also came out and said that um, Static Shock and Batgirl are prob- problematic, so they're going to the HBO Max, which is very, very very irritating to hear because static shock is not problematic if you do static shock correctly to be honest if you do all your stuff correctly you should be in billion dollars like you just you guys haven't been doing your characters correctly you had superman and batman on the screen for the first time and that movie did not make a billion dollars you did something wrong there the two iconic superheroes in the world known throughout the world on screen live action same time and you did not make a billion dollars you messed that up that ain't got nothing to do with problematic or anything that's you y'all company messed that up so to tell me that static shock is problematic and bad girl is problematic why is it problematic because uh, as I'm seeing it, is it because Static Shock's black he's problematic? Or is it because Batgirl's a woman that she's problematic? Why are those two characters problematic? And you did Shazam, a character not many people know about. Not many people know about it, but that wasn't problematic. But then again, you didn't have HBO Max at this time. But still, to come out and say that really... <sighs> y'all, y'all, y'all need to do PR guy as well because <laughs> y'all need somebody to be over there to tell y'all like don't say no stupid stuff like that <laughs> come on like I'm waiting for y'all to do a Static Shock movie millions are waiting for you to do a Static Shock movie Cause you can't tell me the problem Mac, when they just did a Miles Morales Spider-Man movie and it's the best Spider-Man movie that's ever been made yes I said it Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, best Spider-Man movie ever made. It's my number one Spider-Man movie. And y'all know this because I've talked about it on multiple occasions. Can't tell me Static Shock would be problematic. Only thing with problematic is if you do some idiotic stuff with it. Just like it sounds like you guys are about to do some idiotic stuff with Batgirl. Rumor is... They're taking Batman Beyond and giving it to Batgirl. So it's going to be Batgirl Beyond where Michael Keaton's Batman will be Bruce Wayne. And he will be teaching Barbara how to be Batman. 
or Batgirl per se, and also taking over her kind of Oracle character as well. So not only are you going to take Terry McGinnis away from us actually seeing him in live action, you're also taking Barbara Gorda's Barbara 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 Gordon's. I just forgot. Um, uh, I just forgot what is her oracle. There we go. Her oracle moniker away from her as well. Why would you do that? There's no reason to do that. Just do Batgirl herself. I guess there's a Batgirl Year One comic that I didn't read the comic, but I heard that it's about her. It's a different kind of origin story for her becoming Batgirl, where she actually fights her way into the Bat family. And they don't want her there and she fights away. And it's supposed to be an amazing story. Do that story. Just live action. Stop stop chopping up characters and other characters and put giving it to another character. And doing it. That just makes it no sense. You, you're messing up your stories. You have stories. You have the blueprint to stories. And yet you keep changing them and not for the better. Marvel changes theirs sometimes for the worst. They have some bad ones, but they still understand the character enough to change it to an extent that you still can see that character. You're changing it to where you can't even tell who that character is. <clears throat> Wonder Woman 1984. But come on. Why would you do that? But yeah, that's that's one of the plans or rumors they're planning to do. Uh, also, apparently... They have been um, apparently looking at other actors to play Cyborg. They're kind of casting Cyborg already um, for the Flash movie that they keep talking about they're going to make. Which actually had multiple rewrites on, multiple different scripts. Some with Cyborg in it, some without Cyborg in it. But it looks like they might be rewriting Cyborg out of this one as well if they can't find somebody. Um... And then this whole Earth 2, Earth 1 thing they're doing. Uh, it's uh, DC does great with Elseworlds stories. But at this point, they've been getting lucky with their Elseworlds stories. With the Joker, they got lucky. Um, not Nothing else. They didn't really have another Elseworlds story. Don't think about it. But it seems like they're trying to go that route. And... That role will work if you guys know your characters, which you clearly don't. You, you're you just doing unnecessary stuff. I just hate to see them shoot themselves in the foot. DC has amazing characters. Do them justice. Just do them justice. Oh, wow. Um, but, yeah. We'll see what happens with DC in the next year or two. Uh, they have a lot of stuff supposed to be coming out. Um, we will see how this Wonder Woman movie has affected the movies they have coming out. If that changes anything about them. Because they try to recorrect once they see something didn't work the way they thought it was. They try to recorrect everything else. They went too dark with Batman vs Superman. So they went really weird light with Justice League. They couldn't find a balance. So we'll see. Um... What's up, guys? That was just a small clip from my podcast. If you want to check out the full podcast, go ahead and go over to Anchor and search Black Geek Cool Podcast or hit up Spotify, Stitcher, Pocket Cast, or anywhere um, podcasts can be found. Also, you can look in the description of this video, and I'll have a link to where you can go directly to the podcast. Thanks for listening, guys, and I'll talk to you in the next one.